Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome to Day 20 where bad balls make great role playing. We're back again. Uh, we got two extra uh, new players for tonight's session and for the foreseeable future as well. Uh, please say hello to Tabitha and Neil. Hello. Hiya. They'll be they'll be joining us on this wild adventure of ours. Uh, on that note, let's go around the invisible table and introduce you all to our lovely character, or lovely player, shall I say, and uh, characters. Starting <laughs> with Rain. Hi, I'm Rain. I play Rue, your local friendly druid that may not be quite so friendly after the end of this session. Uh, Dan. Hi, I'm Dan. I play Rickamar, a rather bookwormy Owlin, um, who is quite happily uh, sitting reading a book while everyone else calls his chaos. Vi? Hi, I'm Vi. I'm playing Anakitos, who has recently got a new box of finger food. <laughs> uh, tabs? Hi, um... I'm Tabitha. Um, I'm playing. Uh, I forgot the race. Shall we wait until your character's introduced? Yes. Oh, yes, we should. Yes. yes good. Yeah, cut, cut the third on that. Cut that um, yeah, Brag. don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Um, Steve? I, I'm Steve. I'm playing Shadow Aim, who's a blue dragonborn and a paladin of Ismir. And finally, Jack. I am playing Paul, the human rogue, who does the bare minimum of stealing. So, the players are ready. I think I'm ready. Let's go into the night's adventures. The sagas of Caldra. Frostfall. <laughs> Mary few defeated Vix's henchmen, but lost v Vesta in the battle. You headed to the tavern to regroup yourselves as Anikitos headed to the Hall of Tomes, where he was introduced to an Owlin named Rekamar. There you both headed to the Running Raven, where the rest of the Mary few were. You were all introduced to this mysterious Owlin, and you spent all the evening at the tavern until closing time. Next morning, Shadowrim headed out without telling the party where he was going. And then a mysterious peg-legged goblin named Ugghold <laughs> handed a large chest to the party and warned them about Loki and Angeralis' uh, fate as you found out missing body parts of your comrades were in the box. You all agreed to find Shadowrim and discuss your next move. 
this is where we're going to pick up tonight's session. So, well, I mean, <clears throat> the the body parts in the box. I mean, we know where they are. It's the middle bit that's missing. <laughs> You'll find the mi middle bits in a bit. So, Shadowrim, as you're walking along the cold, frosty roads of Fosfall, you finally find what you were looking for. The Fighters Guild, known as the Talents. It's a large oak, and oak door with a little window on it. Do you wish to knock or do you wish to barge in? I'm just going to barge in now. Okay. So you barge in and before you there is a few uh, benches and seats around this first floor with a wooden staircase going up to the upper floors. There's a lot of fighters sitting down, drinking, sort of, some are playing um, cards, some are arm wrestling. You see a few of them practicing on uh, wooden um, uh, training uh, dummies. As you look to your left, you see there's a barkeep there, polishing some glasses. A few of them have noticed your arrival and are staring at you. I, I'm basically just gonna just look, like glance around, look around, and then go. Uh, Where is your guild master? They all look around, and and one person stands up, wearing a very dirty cream tunic, tied up, messy. Blonde hair with a sort of like a an unkept short beard stands up and he walks to towards you. He is human. He's about average height. I am the guildmaster here. What is your business here, Dragonborn? My business. I'm here to challenge you for the deeds that you've done. And what deeds are they? We are just a humble fighter's guild, sir. I'm going to reach out my pocket and pull out a piece of cloth and just throw it on the floor at him. And on it is a symbol of the uh, red blades. I'm sure you what you know what this what this entails. He's he's you know he's staring intently at this symbol on the floor, and you see his eyes look at you. Very well. A trial by combat, yes? Of course. And he's I will avenge my comrades. And then he starts with your death. Lads, let's take our guests or guest to the pit. And they and they all get up and they two of them grab your shoulder grab your um, your arms and start walking with you down these stone stairs at the end of the Look. room. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to try and just like shrug them off and just go, I can walk on my own. They both start laughing at you and they, and you're following the guild master and the rest of the, the guild members down these stone stairs. Meanwhile, the rest of the party, you are trying to find your lost dragonborn but you don't know where he's gone so we're gonna play a game no, oh no i don't I like that games. i don't like that it's called let's find shadow room let's find shadow room <laughs> oh, oh oh no you can all one at a time roll perception uh yeah, perception to see if you can find anyone in the, sur in the surrounding area that can help you f find where Shadow Room is. Hooray. Every time you find someone, but if they don't know where Shadow Room is, 
an extra round is added on to his oh, battle. No. Without no. without your assistance. Oh I pee shadow him, it's been real. So <laughs> um who wants to go first? I will, because I must certainly Yeah, I was about to say fail. you. Yep. With the astounding bonus of plus zero, here we go. Eighteen. Eighteen. Ooh, nicely done. So you, whilst you all like look around to find someone to ask them if they've seen your blue f- dragon ball friend, Paul finds a town guard or city guard, shall I say, walking past you. You ask him. Oh, you want me to role play it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Excuse me, um, guardsman. Ah, uh, yes. Uh yes. Just a, another law-abiding citizen here. <laughs> um, I wondered if you had seen earlier this morning. Um, you can't miss him. Um, heavily armored, blue dragon, born folk. Second, try to remember now. I am gonna roll for him. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> so he's oh a, a big blue dragon ball. You say? Yeah, he went. Yeah, I saw him go into the fighters guild just down the road there. Hmm. Interesting. I'm sure they're getting along very well. Thank you, sir. It's all right then. And he walks off. I hate you, Jack. (laughs) (laughs) The fucking first time. Yeah. So you relay your information to the rest of the party as you head to the... Uh, the Talon's um, Fighters Guild. Yeah, and I will just mention to the party, especially the ones who've been there the longest, I really hope he's not getting himself into trouble. Yeah, he went off with uh, a little bit too much enthusiasm for me to believe that. I just don't want to lose anyone else. He's a big guy, I'm sure he will be fine, and we are going to be here any moment now. Let's not wait up. Okay. So. <laughs> Shadow him. Yep. You are now going to... Uh, where is the fighter's pit? Let's say it's here. Okay. So ignore your comrades like beside you, they're not here yet, okay? But <laughs> this is the pit that um, the Guildmaster has told you about. And I want to roll okay. I want you to roll initiative, please. Uh, can I obviously going into this pit I'm gonna do actually cast a spell in preparation just before I do initiative. Ah, okay. I, I was gonna I'm going to cast Shield of Pay for myself. Okay. Um, uh, before you do that, that's all right. before you do that, um, a very elderly gentleman comes into the ring and says, Now then, there are some rules to the to the trials of combat that has been presented to us. There will be no magic, no interference from outsiders, and no resurrections. First one to die, but the first one to kill wins. And he exits the uh, the ring. Can you roll uh, me? Uh, what do I? You can. I won't do what we're going. To... You can if you want to roll uh, slow hand. No, I, was, I, I won't do because he is fighting honourably. Fair enough. Okay. Could you roll me initiative, please, whilst I change the, my music for some, some battle music? 
11, and I can't control my character either. Oh, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a Tuesday. It's a Wednesday. <laughs> and roll 20, sponsored by uh, Technical Difficulties. <laughs> It's not, it's, not, it's not technical difficulties, it's just your old DM. Roll 20 and it's technical difficulties. <laughs> why can't I not pick up... I can't pick up... Uh... Oh, that's why. Okay, that's weird. Okay, well, bear with me. Oh. I'm gone. I'm dead. <laughs> not... <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Can you move now? Yeah, I can. Lovely. Well, I'll get his character sheet up. So you say 11, yeah? 11, yeah. 11. Okay. Okay, so you go first because you got a 7. Go for it. Right, uh how far away am I? Right, fifty-five feet. Right. What's the ruling on breath weapon? Oh, that's a good question. Because that's magic, isn't it? But it is. Well, it's more of a natural, not magic really. I would say uh, go for it. I would say yes, you can do it. Yep, okay. So I'm gonna move down here. And I move to there, sorry. So I'm within 30 feet. And I'm just going to use my breath weapon on him. So he needs to make a dex save, please. Okay. Give me a second. Dex saving for... Eight. That's a fail. So it's 15 points of lightning damage. 15, okay. Okay. Is there an interview go, sir? No, I... I'm going to... I don't know. Uh, I'll best check if I can do. Uh, my channel divinity. Can I do that or not? Would it be allowed? Is it... It's, it's part of my paladin. Is... Make a uh, roll a slow hand. Five. Unfortunately, you can't do it. You try, and the uh, the ring that's called the the ring keeper stares at you intently and just says, "No, no, no." Very well. Bla only blaze it is. Um, breath weapon. <laughs> right, that's all I can do then. Okay. It's his turn now. Uh, down there, aren't you? So he's going to dash and come to you, come up at you. And his first attack is he's going to draw his dagger and stab you with it. For a 32. Nah, 20. Ooh. Ouch. Uh, misses. <laughs> oh. so, so you take 11 points of piercing damage. Yep. And then just, a, just 11. 11. And then for his bonus attack, he's going to get his other dagger and stab you with it. For 22. Hits. So you take... Nine points of piercing damage. And that's, right. the, and that's the end of his go. Do you hear behind you? Obviously, the the other guild members are cheering on uh, their guild master and everything, and they're, they're quite loud. But you can hear sort of like footsteps coming down the steps behind you where you came in. You look back, Sharon, and you see your companions coming in. 
What are you doing here? How did you find me? I mean, there aren't many blue dragonborns in the city. You're very easily, you know, found. You don't Blame Paul. Yeah, you, you, you don't see him, you know, cock his head as like, yeah, that's true. What's Paul doing? at this moment um just kind of taking in the scene okay like he's seen i mean he must have seen pit fights oh, yeah, where he has, grew yeah, up. yeah he has yeah yeah so yeah just like okay i know like not to interfere let him get on with it but yeah just taking in who's around that's fair and now doing your tokens everyone so you can move them if you want uh okay so it's your go again um Jarim. right uh, i am just going to swing the uh forgotten paragon at him okay or a uh, 12. uh does not hit unfortunately right, so i'll follow up with a second attack 26 hits uh, 13 damage 13 damage okay so with that he attacks you again with his dagger on his left hand for 27 yeah it's you take 12 points of pierce damage yep and then for his bonus action he's gonna disengage and go up here. So what he's doing is he's coming in, stab, 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 and then disengaging. So you can obviously see his his pattern of what he's trying to do. Yep. It's your it's your go now, Sharon. Yep, I am just going to. I will just be. Obviously, because I can't heal with Kudji mm -hmm. to magic. So, rule. So, I'm just going to follow and just basically swing my great sword at him. Go for it. 26 again. Hits. 17. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's a 10. That's what, that was it. Hit. So he dodges that out of the way. So he's going to do now. Uh, Is that the end of your go, sorry? Yeah, that's all I can okay. do. So he's going to attack you again with this dagger for a 26. Yeah, that hits. So you take 11 points of piercing damage. Yep. And then for his bonus attack, he's going to attack you with a dagger on his right hand. Okay. For an 18. Miss. Miss. So you dodge that one as well. You're up. Shatter him is not looking good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, bloodied him. Looking very bloodied. I'm going to just... You, Push myself up and just take another swing after dodging his uh his dagger. Okay. Oh, where is it? There it is. That's a natural twenty. Hits. For a total of twenty. Three. I do want a divine smite. What? <laughs> uh, perfect time for smite. It is time, perfect time for smite, but not today. I oh, know. Oh, that was only the first attack as well, weren't it? <laughs> yeah. And a twenty-five. 
what to hit or or is that no 25 to hit yeah hit for our 13 damage Okay, he's looking very bloodied and very bruised at the moment. Is there anything else you want to do, Shadow Room? No, that's all I can do, because if I back away, he will attack. I'm so. guessing Lion Hands is considered magic? It is, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean, that's what I would, what I would have done. Since mm. I've only got very little health. So, he's going to come at you again with his dagger on his left hand for a 14 misses miss. so he you can tell he's tired and very slowed down now because of this and he tries to stab you and you dodge out of the way because it's very slow and you can, you can sort of predict his movements now what he's going to do now is he's going to disengage for his bonus, bonus attack and come here As he's backing away, Paul's just going to get into the spirit of it and shout from the sidelines, "Boo!" <laughs> <laughs> um, can I kind of reach my hand across and slightly cover Rue's eyes upon seeing these guys getting increasingly bloody? Chavin, what do you want to do now? I um gotta throw a javelin at him. Sure. I'm gonna okay. pull a javelin out, yeah, out and throw it at him. I'm gonna be using one of them hybrid javelins. Oh, okay. Go for it. That is a thirty to hit. Hits. Or eighteen. And I'm gonna Hang on roll again. Yeah, give me a second. Sorry. Uh, so that was 18. Okay. So you can see this javelin bit into him in his chest now as he's gasping for air. He's he's on one knee as he is slowly dying at the moment. What do you want to do, Shadowman? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go for the per more personal touch. Okay. Move up to him and swing my great side. Go for it. Fourteen. Does not hit. So somehow he dodges your great sword, even though he's on one leg. He's on. He's crouching down, and you miss him. I don't. Don't know how. Maybe fatigue? We don't know. Anything else you want I'm to not, do? I'm just basically... I'm you saying you will be dying here soon. He laughs at you and spits blood in your face. As he, yeah, that's all I can do. As he attacks you with his first dagger. 17 misses. Misses. So he, you can tell he slowly... He, he, he he can't keep this fight up anymore. His bonus attack, his last bonus attack, he's going to try and attack you with his other dagger. For 23. Oh, he might have won. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. For 11 points of piercing damage. Um, I'm can down. I just mention something? Unless he's got a feat that goes oh, against this, he can't add his dex to the damage on an offhand attack. If he's a rogue, if he's a fighter rogue, then he's a fighter rogue. Okay. Oh, I P dude. I'll, I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> how is? And with, how... and with that judgment, Shireem's dead. <laughs> no. So um... I, I, I literally had ten health. Fuck. <laughs> so this individual goes up into Shadowrim's uh, head through his jaw 
as you can see, Shadow Room fall down dead. Where this <laughs> where this individual is, is falls down behind as what well, falls down as well, but you can tell he's breathing. Uh oh. Good you? The guild uh, members sorry. all cheer <laughs> and they go into the ring and they start picking up um the the guild master and take him to safety. I would like to attempt to stop having my eyes covered for a second because I am going to go on ahead and do a thing and I apologize in advance to everyone. <laughs> so unless <laughs> Anakitos is going to fight me on this. Um, he might hesitate and say, are you sure you can take that? Rue's gonna do it anyway. It'll let her. <laughs> um... He knows she can revive and that's the only reason. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is he proper dead dead, not just unconscious? Well, as the rule stated, there's no, there's no resurrection. But surely that's just dur during the fight. You have to take it up with the uh, the ringkeeper. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to be trying to get his attention whilst Rue is doing okay. this. So all these members are coming over, picking up. Um, the guild master and taking them upstairs to be healed. Everyone else um, follows as well. As the ringmaster comes over to Shadow Room and starts poking him with a stick. Um, I am very tempted on something, and I'm I'm, I'm really trying to find it. Wish she would. Uh, Rekamar would like to use one of his healing lights on uh, Shadow Room. Okay. Uh, I'll just use one of the D6. Uh, and I don't have to. I can be within 60 feet of him. Okay, go for so it. Just, sort yeah. of st standing where he is, uh, I will roll a D6. Um, two. So has he got two health back then? Yes. Yeah, I reckon I will just sort of look at him and he'll uh, point his, uh, his packed uh, item. And just use uh, it'll channel some of Orn's uh, divine power okay. to try and heal you know, Shadowrim, seeing how everyone looks rather aghast. Do you see Shadowrim gasping for air and sing up gasping for air while, whilst the this ringmaster's like, What's this? Magic? Who's used magic in this in the circle pit? Well, it's not really a circle, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Did you not hear the rules? No magic, mm -hmm. no interference, and no resurrections. Oh, um, no, I I wasn't here then. Um, well, I didn't resurrect. He wasn't dead, and uh, I didn't interfere. I do believe that as he's not dead that the fight's not over. And that as the fight's not over, and the opponent has left the ring, that's a forfeit. <laughs> well, mm, you would normally be right, Rue. Oh, shut just... up! Yes, miss. It's a forfeit. The guild master's not going to be happy with this, but fine. But you are banned from this from this guild forever. Agreed. I mean, if it's a forfeit, then doesn't he have to kind of like give up his life because that was the terms and the conditions of the fight? Um, if I might, uh, Mr. Ringkeeper, surely we can come to some kind of arrangement. I mean, my Owlin friend here was none the wiser. He was not informed. What arrangements do you want? Well, um, I don't think a ban is out of order, but perhaps something temporary instead? 
such as well um what you, what would you deem appropriate a month fine two months ban to never show their face again and if he wishes to challenge the grand the, the guild master again he can you are most reasonable. I do thank you ever so. Get out, for I changed my mind, as I am doing this for the Guildmaster himself. And he storms off. You all do notice a strange half-elf staring at you guys, clapping. Neil, can you introduce your character, please? Neil? We can hear your mic, but we can't hear what you're saying. Is it really clear? That's really muffled, mate. But, yeah, that's really muffled. <laughs> um, okay. Um, not really sure what I've been doing. Yeah. That's fine, mate. Just take your time. It's fine. So, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, me. So. Are your audio settings set for a headset mic or something? Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties indeed. Thirty twenties sponsored by technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> um. Alright, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, you can, yes, yes, there we go. Mm. Right, I'll just I'll just switch the audio to my phone, so Oh strange. Anyway, so yes, so you see this mysterious half elf uh, staring at you whilst clapping. Neil, can you introduce your character, please? Yes, so um, yeah, half elf, half elf male um, appears to carry a couple of instruments. He's got some pan pipes hanging from his belt, carrying a lute, um, carries a rapier, um, a bow across his back. And yeah, congratulations! You've um, you've got one over on the guildmaster by the looks of it. <laughs> I don't think we meant to. Yes, it might be dangerous to um, stay around too long, knowing the way these people think. Uh, Rekomar will turn to Shadowrim and um, can you walk or do you need some more healing? I'll be fine. As you see me, just put my hand to my chest and you see the uh, la a bright light. Just, I lay, lay on hands on myself. <laughs> so I'm now back on over half. <laughs> oh, nice. So let me just get this straight. You could have healed yourself at any time and forfeited the fight, but instead you thought it was what, better to die? I do have my my honour. Ah, yes. Everything's clear now. Thank you. Okay. Um, is Shadowrim coming out of the ring? Yes, he is. Right. <laughs> Paul's just going to have a word with him. Why did you feel it necessary not to tell anybody? It was... 
personal. It's uh, why I made my vow. Huh. Do you plan on telling us what's going on? I will, but I don't believe this will is the place. Fair enough. Hmm. Where now, then? Well, um, we are banned, so um, I think we're expected to go. Um, you there, sir. Um, just yes. speaking to this guy with musical instruments. Yes, I can help. Would you uh, like to join us? Fill us in with uh, anything we'd need to know about this guild? Well, I haven't been here long, um, but I'll tell you anything I know. Um, but yes, I think knowing what these fighter types are like is probably to get out and get clear first. Because I don't know how they're going to react to this something like this happening. That is a Not very well, nice maybe. loot. Thank you. No, you can't touch it. I told you I had my own. <laughs> I, I was a performer before I was elsewhile employed. Ah. Yes, performance is everything, really, isn't it? All for the art. Back to the running raven, everyone? Yep. Why not? Uh, John, uh, yes. the javelin that I threw at him, is it still in in the pit? Or did it's he still in the pit, yeah. With... No, it's still in the pit. Hang on. So, so I'm, so I will I'm, be collecting that. Yeah, so I obviously pulled it out of him before they took the the guildmaster up for um, to be healed. Yep, because I definitely want them back. So you all exit the Talon Fighters Guild and you head back to the Running Raven. Now, I want mm -hmm. everyone, apart from uh, Neil, to... As you know, I will introduce Neil to this. I want everyone to uh, roll me a perception, please. Okay. That... I, that, you know what? Rooster's quietly seething. She's not paying attention. <laughs> uh, I think Shadow is a bit too beaten up to pay, pay attention to anything. <laughs> Recommends going back to reading. Okay, what did uh, Neil roll? Well, right. Uh, at the very least, your stuff, by the way, is coming through. I know you were worried about that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, say again. Oh, th this was the thing for Rai. Sorry. Oh, yes, sorry. it is. I don't. Um, I don't know how the hell, but a win is a win. <laughs> mm. So what did you roll, Neil? Sorry, how do I? How do I, if I've done it on roll twenty? How do I get it onto? Um... Ah, you. Oh, do you have a beyond twenty? I guess. Yeah, I don't think he's got beyond twenty. I forgot to say that to him. Shit. It's. Oh, I am on. Roll. I'm on. It's a Google app. Oh. Oh, okay. I'll do that for next week. Um, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'll I'll just do it through this. Yeah, just let me know what you got. Oh, sorry. Been a while since I used this. Oh, there you go. Oh, my God. Okay, so both Paul. Uh, how do you pronounce your name, um, Neil Prius? Prius. Prius and uh, Anikitos. You see. Um, in a little alleyway, as you just turn your head slightly, a little goblin with a peg leg waving at no. you. Uh, please no. <laughs> please no. Do you, know, do you know him? We've met. Do you think if we keep walking forward, we can pretend we did not see? Well, if you don't want to speak to him, I certainly do. Uh, I am not letting you go to him alone. Okay, let us go speak. Shadow Emmy, you are okay to take D2 in your state? I'll be fine. You know. Okay, so you all go down the alleyway. You see um, Ugnor, Ughold, sitting on this small 
wooden um, crate, sort of like dangling his legs over it like a little child does. It's like, hello. Didn't, didn't think I'll see you so early. Are you going to free your friends? We've got to talk about that amongst okay. ourselves. Oh, really? Okay. Well, time is ticking, you know. Your man, Vix. Woman. Where does he want us to go to? It's a woman, actually. Get your genders in, in order, mate. Oh, I'm sorry. Normally, Vix would be Victor. You neglected to tell us that part before. I assumed you know that, mate. Oh, well. Yes, what do you... what... Ask the question again. <laughs> go where... Silent. Where... Are we meant to meet Vix? Did it not say on, on, on the letter? As the Dark Graves. Well, that sounds like a lovely place. It is. It's a huge burial site where I, an ancient battle used to what took place. The dead live there now. Mm hmm. Hey, if we rolled like a history check, mm -hmm. is the dead live here now like an undead situation or just like your general grave situation? Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Just. Uh. Roll me a history. History. Twelve. Not bad. You don't know about this place. That's fair enough, I'm not local. Any other stupid questions you want to ask me? Well, yes. Uh, actually. <laughs> Uh, or you, you could go silent. I didn't. I didn't hear what you said. Again, I can't hear you. I oh, can, sorry. I, can uh, see you. Um, I, I said <laughs> on taking any. <laughs> is there a problem with your mic? I think there is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. I'll. Come. <laughs> check, check. Seems like, seems like it's catching. Yeah. Am I? Yep. Am I coming through? Yeah, we can hear you. Right. So he said, "Yeah, just one question. Um, do you plan on taking limbs off anybody else we know?" It's. I didn't take the limbs off. I'm just a delivery boy. It was mm. just. It was just. To just to make sure that we weren't bluffing. We oui. right. So you are Vix's henchman. I'm Vix's little pet, if you want to know. She beats me. She slaps me around. Oh. <laughs> yes, don't you oh. remember last time he said he enjoyed it too? <laughs> The thought has not left me since. <laughs> and that is no compliment. Goblin, if we I'm were out in the wild, without any guards or law present, I would trade like for like and take yours. Just so you know. We're as fortunate. We, we're in this city, isn't it? Anyway. For you. And he sort of like shuffles off the uh, the small crate and starts limping away I best be off mistress is waiting for me and she hates when I'm late oh try not to sound too excited <laughs> as you see him hobbling away round the corner of the of the alleyway just our luck the first person we get to speak to of this organization is a masochistic goblin. Charming fellow. 
quote that. <laughs> we need a quote channel for just that specifically. Yeah. <laughs> So, what is the party doing now? Still the same thing. Oh. Head to Running Raven. Talk about our next move. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you'll walk out of the uh, alleyway slowly without trying to make... Try to see if a, a cold's there. But he's not. So you'll make your way to the Running Raven. You walk in, there's a few more patrons in there now, not too busy. I say about three or four, as the bartender nods at you all. You all walk over to the nearest table you can find. You all sit down and you discuss your next move. Can I um, ask you? One thing's been bothering me. Go ahead, Ray. Sorry, right. So I wanted to, as we're making our way over there, could I uh, slow down to match uh, Rue's pace a little? Yeah, sure. Uh, and so, uh, I am just checking on you very quickly. Are you uh, holding up okay? He is, like, doing that stompy walk that people do when they are ultimately pissed off, and, like, the little scowly face and everything, and she's like, I'm fine. Oh, okay. Do not let me bother you then. Yeah, you let me know if you need anything, okay? She just continues stomping along. Anakitos is not brave enough to take on that fight. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's just gonna follow. <laughs> so you all sit at this table. And you... One thing that hasn't been bothering me. Vix says that they've got our friends. But what friends could she possibly mean? Can't be the tieflings, we spoiled her plans. I assume that's what she was talking about. So who on earth could it be? Are you with memory issues? No judgement if you are. Um... You remember the rabbit and the bird we had? The rabbit was imaginary. <laughs> oh okay, <my>. okay. <laughs> All right, yes, I, I do remember them. Um, but <sighs> if they're to be believed, then they're now quadriplegic. If not dead already. No, by sound of it, just slightly deafer, and maybe a little less dexterous. Mm. Uh, were you all close friends? No. <laughs> we had known them a little while. Um, much like yourself, but... We have people come and join us quite often. Hmm. Even in time you have been here, look, we pick up half-elf. What is your name? My name? Yes. Piraeus. Really nice to meet you. Yeah, I'll, for Piraeus's benefit, I'll just introduce everybody by first name. Hmm. Thank you. So, yeah, obviously I have no context of your background or who this Vix is or the, the Goblin. We don't really know them either, but it's to be believed that Vix was behind the current prejudice toward tieflings. She was trying to have three of them from the college executed. Hmm. Not nice woman, then. No, and I'm rather fond of tieflings. Hmm. 
Anakitas mm. will give Paul like a side eye, but not elaborate further on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know it was a half elf last night. <laughs> yes, I have seen enough of just that. Above table, she's still in his bedroom. <laughs> you just left her there, dude? <laughs> I assumed she could find the door. Maybe she's just taking advantage of the room still hired, so... Whatever helps you sleep at night, my friend. Did okay, if anyone's know? thinking it, I'm just going to put it out there. I have not tied her up or tied her to the bedpost or anything like that. I was not. I was not thinking <laughs> that. Please keep I your really personal don't care. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that is good to know. <laughs> no, I did not want to know you even think in that direction. Well. What do you guys think? Do, do we go ahead? I mean, it almost certainly is a trap. It almost certainly mm. is a trap, but it is our friends that are currently in that trap. You think? <laughs> well, if, if it was the other way around, would we not want them to rescue us and at the very least potentially put us out of our misery if it's all as bad as you guys keep saying it is with how much of them is missing? And in it's the box that you guys will not let me look into. That's because it makes you dissociate. And if there's anybody that needs help, should we not help them? Whether they're friends or not? Oh they my god. I just turn, I to the rest of the, turn to the rest of the party and say, Oh my god, he's such a sweetheart. I'm not suggesting I would go and rescue them, but... You know, I have morals, I'm just not particularly brave to enforce them. It would be very nice if people could get, stop getting themselves killed or nearly killed for five bloody minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it is the most I've ever seen this party in danger. Usually it was just one at a time. How about we strive for none all of the time? Hopefully. That is a lot to ask of us, I fear. There's some facts you can't avoid. Very true. Regardless of our friendship stance with these people, my worries are mostly on um, dear little Fluffy Butt and his um, political ties, let's say. Oh, yes. I would not Melbourne. like to be the last known contact um, to a son of a tyrant, to be honest with you. Who may or may not, as it currently stands, be dead, yeah. Yes, I don't want to be responsible. And the longer we're sitting around talking about it, the more and more likely that that's the case. No, no, we have three days before they get to the killing part, apparently. The letter said so, if we are to believe their word. It depends if they keep on chopping off parts of them. Come on, you've seen the rabbit. Do you honestly think he can? T he'll be able to sit there and take three days worth of torture before just giving up? Honestly, I could say the same about most of them. But you are right, uh, it's probably best we have some haste about it, although I would suggest we take a moment to rest. Um, because uh, I do not like the sound of going when one of us is already bloodied. So, um, you know where we need to go? The, uh, yes, the, the grave... The, it, 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 you're talking about it. The, the dark graves. This has come no. up. This has come up multiple times. You have been in both sessions. It, I, <laughs> I, I, I was reading. No, stop reading. Get your nose out the door. People question. are dying. <laughs> I, 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 I will, I will throw this out there though. Question: Where exactly are they? Are the graves? 
dark robes. I think we need a local library or cleric to direct us. Oh, library. That sounds good. You'll find where the graves are, not to pick up a new book. We need to be on task. So, mm. whilst some people <laughs> rest after they stupidly went on ahead and got themselves into a fight and nearly died, no and she's just mentioned. staring right at Shadow Room where was that? <laughs> Almost. Shadow Room's not looking. It, it's just going boring. <laughs> the rest of us can go on their head and try and find something bloody useful. Are we all down with that? Hmm. Please. Yes. It sounds so we, good plan. We wait until tomorrow and then we head out. Yes? Yes, we only got a letter this morning, so if we are to believe the three days is from when we receive the letter, we can go tomorrow with um, maybe only one limb repercussion. I'm just going to throw this out there because you you made me think it. With how much that goblin seems to like getting hurt and whatever, what's to say he didn't delay the delivery of the letter? So that we don't turn up on time. And he gets more punishment because he didn't get us to turn up on time. Well, I think we can do about that, really. If we go um, now, we either have to leave Shadowrim behind, or he goes injured. We saw these people yesterday. At worst, we are one day behind and we turn up on the third day instead of the second. That is still within schedule, so we do not need to worry. I'll be fine, I'll come. Well, that brings us to the next order of business. What the bloody hell did you think you were doing? I went I went to get my vengeance. That's what. Okay, yeah. That's an answer, yes, but it doesn't... Okay, I need more context here. Vengeance against who and for what? Basically, I, as you, some of you are aware, I'm a mercenary. And I, I was a member of a group called the Red Bliss. We were well known around these parts a few years ago. Well known and well liked. But it seems some of the other mercenary groups weren't so happy about that and um, basically they banded together and just whacked out the our, my entire group mm. so I went there at the time because I was away learning to be paladin but once I learnt of this I uh, well, I looked into it and I learned that it was that Quite a few of the uh, mercenary groups from around here basically just plotted together and just wiped them out. So I made my off to bring these people that caused this to vengeance, well, to justice. Okay, I've known you for the longest out of anybody here. I've never seen you take matters into your own hands like this. You know you're not alone. If we could have helped you, you might have won and got your vengeance. I know. I, I'm a, I basically slammed my uh, hand on the table out of frustration. I didn't realise all this week. It's not weakness. No. He is it just in a very similar I, I do, way? I do understand Sorry. what you are saying, but to me, this is, to take these ill masters down, it's something I must do personally. I saw him from a very. From what I know, there is twelve. There's about twelve of them. You want to kill 12 people? 
they killed dozens of my family. Must be strong if they kill that many, so few. Well, I'm guessing they had their group involved, but I don't know who was involved. I just know it was the Guildmasters, so they are my focus. It's not your fault. I saw the way he was fighting. Similar to the way I fight. Cowardly. Thank you, Rue. <laughs> <laughs> it was in damn rules. My honour wouldn't let me break them. You're very lucky that you were still breathing. I was able to go on ahead and convince them that technically you were still breathing and weren't killed, as was no, the Repressibility fight. Wasn't. Technically, you did win. Technically, but it doesn't feel that way. You have hardly failed. You are still alive, are you not? That is time for another day. If nothing else you have learnt about this man today, you are better prepared for next time. And now that we know what you're doing, we can buff you up. They said no magic, if I'm correct. From what I'm understanding, they said no magic whilst in the arena. Doesn't mean to say you can't go in already having some magic on you. They didn't go on ahead and do any sort of dispel magic or any sort of thing like that on you? No, they didn't. Plus, we can do a couple of things for next time. If you're happy to change your fighting style a little, you can use a shield, right? And I'd even lend you my sword. Which is, well, you've seen how powerful that can be. I can, I'd, I, it is appreciated. But it will be hard to grasp. I am more focused on the uh, larger weapons. But hmm. it's not, I'm not saying that I won't give it a try. There is room still to plan. You do not have to go into every arena and fight on their terms. They hardly fought yours on fair, friendly terms. That is true. Next time, if I see them, there will be no pit. Ha ha ha. And, as well, even if there were rules, it said no magic. Didn't say anything about poisons. That now that, not that's mine. something. Oh, you mm. refuse to use them? Yeah. It, it, okay. Yeah, it, uh, my owners won't let me use them. For a second, I, Rue actually looked full of hope that she was actually going to be able to go on ahead and mess around <laughs> and, play, uh, and go ahead and do anything, and now she looks back to being really <laughs> pissed off. <laughs> do, I, do, I see, do I see this? Like, uh, probably. And, and then, uh, make, a, make a perception check. Ooh, not 20 for an 18. So yeah, you do see this. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't talk as a... Sorry, Rue. I don't... <laughs> it's fine. Oh. I suppose you're not going to be opposed to going ahead and potentially use it for the fight that's going to be coming up to rescue our friends, though. Oh, no. If you wish to use it, that's fine. It's just I won't use them themselves. Oh, that's brilliant, yes. Because it will be a short oh. job to find out where we have to go. And then we can spend the rest of the day brewing. What we could also do, but happiness is hitting Rue again, is you and I are pretty good at this point of um, brewing up these kinds of things. So why don't we stay here, focus on that, Shadow Room heals up, and the others go on ahead and go get... The information that's needed? Sure. Oh, we need a couple. Give me a couple of hours to rest up. I no, should be fine. 
We'll need to get mm-hmm. some ingredients, though, Rue. Mm-hmm. It cuts down on time. If I can ask before we all split the ways, Shadow, what exactly have you given Val to do? What are we trying not to break? I made a vow of vengeance to Izmir to bring these people to justice. And your oaths? Sorry, uh, didn't get what you meant there. Oh, good. Whilst you're all talking, you hear the front doors of the tavern uh, flung open. You hear the hysteric um, shouting noises of a random individual. The dead are awake! The dead are awake! You gotta help me! Please, Roland, help me! As he's, like, shaking the tavern keepers, like, Get a hold of yourself, man! What's wrong with you? You crazy bastards, what's wrong with you? The dead, the dead are, are alive. I, I was digging a grave for the dead tieflings that I made, yes? And then, and I saw one in the distance walking. Would anyone help me, please? There is a slam on the, the table as Ruth slams her fist into it. Can we not have five minutes without something in this godforsaken town. It's technically a city. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> I am against hurting people. I will start with you. As you now see a very um, dirty looking individual with um, sort of, um, with a cough um, over his head. Um, and, you, and you can see that he's been digging graves because of his hands are, are like filthy with mud and everything please would you help me are they in the town or they're in the they're in the, the grave they're in the graveyard i i saw them last night just ran to the nearest tavern which was here this is my drinking hall what is the name of these graves it, uh, well it's just the cemetery which is outside uh, the cathedral, not cathedral, the, uh, the temple. Uh, excuse me, let me just get my notes up again. Rue's just double checking, it's not the. Um, Above tables, so it's not. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Um, uh, what's the. Okay, it's um, it's from the um, Uppsala Temple. That he's from, and he was obviously he was digging graves for the tieflings that were murdered in the riots. I am from the Upsa Temple. I was digging graves for the dead tieflings that were killed, oh. and I saw one of them walking past one of the other graves in. In the distance, and I just ran for it. All right. Hmm. Would anyone help me, please? Are you certain these are undead? Well, one of them was just undead. It was he's walking very slowly. Ruth's just gonna get up. Come on. My expertise. Anakitos looks very bristled, sort of um, uncharacteristically so, and will say, An expertise of mine too, although I fear in the opposite way to you, my friend. That's not my fault. I grew up with, a, with people that really liked having the undead around. You understood what it was like, but what it's like back at home. You might agree as to why we go to it. Anakitos looks so unbelievably unpersuaded, but he is not going to argue. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, I'll come along. George, you know, Kate would love this. If you need help finding them, I can sense the undead. 
Like, aren't the undead? Majority of ours expertise. Let's go have some fun. Let's smash up an undead. It's going to be pretty easy to do. Hmm. Technically, I don't at that point consider them to be really a person. I kind of grew up almost. Once you're dead, you're kind of a tool to be used and. At that point, it's not really much of a person, so I don't have a problem. It was explained to me like squatters. So the original soul exits upon mm -hmm. death. Yeah. And then a new one arrives. Mm hmm. In the body you're not using anymore. Mm hmm. I will come with you to show you where, the, where I found the, the body, yes? Mm hmm. Amazing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, is Rickamar and. Um, sorry, Neil. Uh, Hi, Ryan. I, I will get this right by the end of the week. Um, <laughs> are you are you two going as well? Yeah, yes, uh, yes. uh, Rickamar will just sort of hmm, might be something interesting to read. So I will come. So, so this very old, pale-looking um, grave digger uh, shows you where to go. Uh, John, just quickly above the table. Uh, how long w were we at the town for? I would say about hour, hour and a half. Roughly. Is that long enough for a short rest? Yeah, that's what I'm basically going to ask. Is it long enough for a short rest? Uh, let me have a look. Um, no, I'm usually about an hour. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, cut this out, but still. <laughs> uh, at least one hour. So yeah, you do have a short rest. For those that need it, we didn't take any damage in any of the fights, so room is fine. She's just missing some spell slots. It, it basically says in Dungeons & Dragons 5e, a short rest is a, is a period of downtime. It lasts at least one hour during the short rest. A character can eat, drink, read, tent, wound, sleep, and possibly talk. That's what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. Anyone sleep. that's rolling... So anyone that's healing by rolling hit dice, um, you can get an extra d6 for my Song of Rest. Because I'll sing to you. Yeah, I will bet it will be resting, so I'll roll a d... Just a d6 for the total of it. It's an extra... If you... I think if you're... Yeah, if you're... I don't know, actually... Yeah, if you're spending hit dice, then you get an extra d6. So... It's on recording now. Go ahead, sing. Do it. <laughs> you don't want to hear me sing in real life. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Champagne supernova. <laughs> Almost as good as the Gallagher's. Uh, above the <laughs> sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, above the table, did anyone see the um, Jane's Addiction uh, mm -hmm. video? I've got a feeling that's, yep. that's going to happen to Oasis. It's, uh, John, technically that is going borderline politics, so we will we'll not cutting, be talking about I'm, that. I'll be, cut, I'll be cutting out. Anyway, so the grave, um, the grave digger is showing you the way to the temple and to the graveyard. You get to the graveyard. It's very foggy around this holy ritual land place thing, place thing. <laughs> I, if, if you don't mind I'm gonna wait out here because I'm, I'm a bit frightened at the moment but I but I saw the 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 the, the thing over there and he points way to the other side of the of the uh, cemetery but, but I'll wait here for you, yes? Could I check him out? Yeah, sure. Could I see if there's any evidence of him having um, a magical focus of any kind? Roll me. Would it be Arcana or would it be... I'm going to say Arcana. Okay. That's at least a plus two. Twenty-one. It's being very Holy kind to me shit. tonight. <laughs> you, 
slightly see sort of like like when you like when the sun hits a window and you see like the dust in the um in the sun at your house yes mm -hmm. you kind of see that but it's blue and it's kind of coming off him oh so I can't see an object it's just there's a faint blue glow yeah it's a faint blue glow with these little sort of like particles coming off him okay there's a sort of hang on a minute moment are you saying anything at all um I'm gonna say in front of everybody my friend, you have an aura. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I can see like a faint blue light around you. Oh, that's that's just the sunlight. Don't don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm in the sunlight. I don't glow blue. How how far away is this guy from um, us? You're only like a couple of meters away from him. Okay, can I. Can I cast a tech magic? Yes, you can. And then look at him very carefully. You do notice quite a, he a lot of magic coming off this individual, like all around him. Okay. Okay. Alright, we can't do this. Oh, hang on. Um, oh, yeah, I'll just say it. I'll say he's lighting up like a Christmas tree to detect magic. Uh, but is a Christmas tree? I don't. I don't. What is Christmas? I mean. <laughs> he's he's oh, I can't see, yeah um he's yeah he's heavily 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 enchanted you get it all right oh, heavily I'm, magical i'm just a noble grave digger i'm gonna use my divine sense to see if there's anything good or evil anything that celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet so, so he's not undead for the good or evil, he's slightly on the cusp of good, but he's he's more good than evil. So if you see it as a, as a as a line, and good is one side and bad is on the other side, he's more up to the good part. Right. I sense some good in him. It is definitely not Celestial Fiendar Undead. But my senses are telling me that he is but he, well, but, leaning towards good. But you do know he, he is a divine individual. <laughs> Would I actually know that of being Celest from that? I don't know. I'm going to say yes, because I would say a Celestial is under the same bracket as Divine. He seems very... He's a Celestial. It seems very Divine. <laughs> you get it all wrong, everyone. You, you're just <laughs> making me bashful now. It's like, anyway, we got a we got an undead uh, tiefling in the grave, yes? Maybe you should check it out, and then we'll talk about this. If we find out that you've been raising the dead, I and you've been, been lying to us... I have not been raising the dead. I promise you that. All right. Can I can you insight you check him? Huh? I was about to say that. Can I insight check him? You can. <laughs> yes, Rue was... I was going to say that for Rue, but go ahead for it instead. Oh, that was not good for him. Fifteen. You can, you don't, you think he's, te you can't tell if he's telling the truth or not. <laughs> Squint at him. 
Anyone else? I I did say Rue was about or was about to at the same time, but okay. if it no, you can still do, you can still roll okay. it inside. Hey, finally, twenty four. <laughs> you 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 can believe him that he has been raising the dead. He's telling the truth. He's honest enough. He doesn't give me any sort of a bad feeling about him. Um, uh, the man be, there's still the undead. Then get back on the task. Yes, yes, please. Go and check out the, the, the undead tiefling. Then they'll tell you everything you need to know, yes? I sure. apologize for my misunderstanding, Glowbug. He, ta <laughs> he takes your hand and he whispers in your ear. Thank you, Paul. And he... I fucking hate when NPCs do that. <laughs> <laughs> and he just, like, stands there with his hands, um, crossed. Just, like, wait, just, like, wait for you guys to go into the, to the, uh, into the cemetery. Is, sorry, is this cemetery in the middle of the, the city? Yes, it is. Um, it? if okay. you have, if, um, if you go on Mappy Maps, mm -hmm. and if you go on the uh, Frostfall map, it's number eight. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. All the way to the right, just above the river. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So it's right on the outs near the outskirts. Okay. The is a lie. Anyway. So, the river is a lie? <laughs> anyway? <laughs> what? It's like cake of death. Cake is a lie. <laughs> Eddie is art for those of you who are too young. So, you all slowly walk to the other side of the cemetery. You do see standing on one of the tombstones an odd looking crow. This crow, oh, how? <laughs> this crow, has got his head on backwards, but he looks mm. functioning. Oh, that's pretty odd. Yeah. <laughs> Not nice. As you slowly see, creeping behind one of the bigger tombstones, a very odd-looking tiefling. Tabitha, could you introduce your character, please? <laughs> Yes, um, I'm uh, Isla. Um, I'm a, a reborn. Um, uh, I only have the memories from my host, Tiefling, right now. Um, where I am wounded from, like, battle injuries, uh, I have missing phantom skin that glows blue. And I have red hair. Hmm. So standing before you is this interesting looking tiefling. Just standing there staring at you. Doesn't look like normal undead. No, this is not normal. We kill it? Yes. Uh, no, please don't kill me. I've had enough dying. Ooh. Hi. Hi, living about people. That before you come back. <laughs> Hi, living people. Okay. This is yeah, the, the, other, the other living person I tried to get help from ran away from me, so, uh... Hi. I will admit, in all of my time in... Being around the undead this is the first time that the undead have just spoken back to me. Yeah, don't they normally just shamble around moaning? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I'm biting you, generally. Um, I can bite you if you want. Yeah, I'd rather I'd not. Rather... i my looks too much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
So, what are you hoping to do, achieve, be? I have no idea. I don't know. I just kind of woke up here. Like this. But you have, you have memories from your host's former life? Uh, yeah, I know who this tiefling was. Uh, oh, um, <laughs> this necklace around my neck, Lythander, uh, he must have brought me back. So I guess I'll carry on his work and tiefling's devotion. Must have brought me back for a reason. Hmm. I usually I'm do. I have another divine sense because he's. He doesn't okay. know what he's looking at, Shadow okay. So a bit. The info. What? What? It's in the chat what it does. Okay. We've obviously sent good or evil and all that. So yeah. you sense no evil and no good in this individual. It's just neutral at the moment. Well, obviously, yeah, I can. It's is it? Do I know the type? Is it being classed as undead? Um, technically, yes, but it's uh, it's undead, but with a conscience and sort of like memories and like what, like it's it's kind of like. A spirit going back into a body and reawaking it, and the undead would be like a rotting corpse. This is not a rotting corpse. This is a functioning uh, living creature. Um, does Isla have the body of a female tiefling? A male tiefling? Uh, yeah, she's a a female. Right. Yeah, I. I Pass on that. Uh, I'm not sensing any uh, any evil or any good. It's just it's just neutral, and yeah, it's, it doesn't seem very it doesn't seem hostile. From what I can tell. So you have the memories and know who the tiefling was, but you don't necessarily know who you are. That's right. So you're kind of like a clean slate, but with a background. Yes. Interesting. This is new to me. This is well, really in new any to case, me. You, we can't have you walking around with that glowing skin. So if I might lend you some robes, cover that up. We don't want the locals getting restless. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, I see you've met my friend, uh, Crow. Anary? I found him lying dead over there. Just, I'm not, I didn't quite get the bones right, back in the right place. No, it's um, a bit unnerving. Yeah. Uh, so is the crow alive again? Or is he I, undead? Yeah, Sorry, he... it's undead as well. So. Um. Well, he's he's not dead anymore. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I would have, uh, John. I'd, I'd have been able to tell that if it's within six, if the crow was in sixty feet of me yeah, when I could, yeah. did that. Sense. So this crow was dead, and now it's <clears throat> it's the same as this tiefling it's 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 still a living creature it's it's not rotting corpse but his head is on backwards if that makes sense it's not gonna be a very good for flying though is it no he he's he's a bit wobbly <laughs> he's unnatural that's what it is uh, Paul, we cannot be serious. We're not going to work with this. Well, what does everybody else think? 
She seems compass mentis. Like she's got her mind together. She seems undead. Maybe I not. won't hold that against her. I would. <laughs> so. Maybe like. Oh. Now you're uh, awake. I don't know if I don't want to use the term alive here. And you're in this body. What do you want to do? Uh, I didn't think about that. I, I just kind of... I want to remember who I am. Who I was. A corpse, six feet under, where you should return to. <laughs> Anakitos, don't be rude. It's not Isla's it's... fault that she's ended up like this. Yes, but she can very quickly fix it by going back under the ground. <laughs> I'm sorry, Isla. A few of my friends are more religiously minded. <laughs> I could just oh, see that well, Anakitos is doing that. Oh. Well, I have a peace offering. Uh, I found this dagger in my stomach. You can have it. Anakitos is going to retch like a cat throwing up a hairball. <laughs> <laughs> and take about ten steps away. <laughs> I'll go on then, I'll take the dagger. It, it's Reckon kind of slimy. <laughs> Reckon what? I will get a bit closer and he will, um... Do you, um... know anything about where you went? That could be quite interesting. Where I went? Before you were in the body. No, I don't remember anything. Oh. He looks quite sad and somewhat uninterested. Well, um, unless there are any hostile undead wandering around, I think we'd best get you a meal. You can't have eaten in a long time. Is it worth, before we go, is it worth filling in the grave and making it look like maybe that we've dealt with the problem and filled the grave in and it's all sorted now? Rather than people wondering where this corpse went. So, I'm trying to... This to make sense in a way that Anakitos, you might feel a little bit more comfortable, but what I'm understanding is this is someone that's potentially passed away in their normal life, and the only way I can explain it is potentially God's made a mistake and put them in the wrong body. So, doesn't it at that point kind of become a thing to maybe put them back into the right body and get them resurrected into the right body so then they're technically not undead anymore i think my previous body is also dead or i wouldn't be a soul And the cute toss is not looking <laughs> like this has helped. <laughs> I mean, this, this is fascinating. Okay. D d so, your body is probably also gone, yes. Um, as is the case with most people that require some kind of resurrection when they die. I never heard of someone getting resurrected into a wrong body before, but there's nothing to say that maybe we can't write it and put you into the correct body. How would we do as, that? Well, as I see it, Lythander has given me another chance at life. I don't exactly want to die again. <sighs> May I ask what um, Lythander's portfolios are? I assume he's, it's knowledge that we would have. He's like, do you mean what god he is? Yes. Yeah, he's like the um, god of new beginnings in the sun. 
Right, then it's totally appropriate that he would potentially send someone back for a new beginning. So either you were very good at your past life or you were very bad and you're, you're back to make, make amends. Well, I hope I was good. I didn't want to... I don't I hope I didn't hurt anyone. <laughs> no, indeed. Well, about that. Um, you might have guessed that we're adventurers. Yes. We've had a few scuffles here and there. So our hands aren't entirely clean. Oh, okay. You're all murderers, then. Um... No, murder implies wrongful killing. Um, I've never killed anyone. No, have I? Speak for yourself. I they don't harm humanoids. Mm. Although I'm starting to become willing to make an exception or two if people keep dying. Killed some bandits once. Well, um, I'm going to go see if anybody else has risen. Somebody who isn't like Isla. But play nice with her. You, you don't mean who I think you mean? Well, didn't he say there was another one? I don't like that thought. Above the table, another what? Um, another body that's Rose? No. Or is it just Isla? It oh, just it's Isla. just Isla. It was just Isla. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. Okay, well, let's scratch what I just said then. Um, right, well, um, perhaps if we go and explain to uh, the Gravekeeper. Um, the just... weirdly divine... Gravekeeper that was terrified of this undead. That's not an undead and is actually a person that's in an undead body. My brain's starting to hurt. <laughs> okay, look, I'm against every sort of prejudice there is, okay? Now, just because Isla has spent some time as a disembodied soul and has been put into another body for reasons we don't quite understand. That doesn't mean we should hold it against her. I'm not holding it against her. I'm just very confused as to this entire situation. How a divine being would send us on the path unless... No. Unless it was the god that resurrected her himself in human form, getting us to meet with her. Right, okay, but look at the friends that we've already travelled with. Tieflings, Dragonborn, Owlins, and even somebody who was part angel. Is this that much weirder? You know what, I do miss Rowan on this occasion. All of the others are a natural, uh, should occur in life. This is... Uh, the hubris of humanity manifest. Anakitos. Look, I'm not against her being undead, that's not what I'm getting at. I'm more... I'm. I, she can exist, whatever, that's fine. I don't have an issue with that. If anything, this is a... Slightly concerning development that maybe my people have been using zombies entirely wrong and actually they are potential to be people still. It, it, that's it's something I'm trying not to think about. I'm more trying to figure out why a divine being lured us towards her. And I'm not saying that she's bad, I'm more curious as to what that, this divine being that was trying to be a grave digger was so convinced that's my concern because it feels like again we've got gods and divine beings and whatever kind of pushing us to do kind of what they want and i don't know if i'm totally okay with gods being this involved in my life but 
isn't that what they do? <laughs> you know, maybe be you guys. <laughs> The gods I have not answered my people for years. They don't have anything to do with us. This is weird. I don't like this. <laughs> Go, Go on, ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, Isla's just completely zoned out of the um, conversation. She's just playing with her crow. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, we can go and speak to the Grave Digger. Explain outside of it what we've seen. And he's promised us details. But in the meantime, Anakitos, you have a problem with Isla, you'll have a problem with me as well. Okay? Oh. Anakitos um, does seem to consider this carefully. This is apparently the most compelling argument thus far, to be nice. <laughs> um... I will, I, will, I will double down on it. Anakitos? If they put their foot wrong, if they give any reason for any of us to turn around and say that they don't deserve to live or whatever, you can do the honours. And you can turn around and tell us all that we were wrong and we were stupid and you can go on ahead and berate us. Well, them. Um, I don't really uh, care either way, but... No, I... Listen, I do not have anything against her as a person, individual. It is just... This is... Yeah, yeah. Well... Come on, maybe we can maybe get her fully resurrected into the right body without her having to die again or something. I will compromise, okay? And know that I am being as brave as I can be. And were it not for you, I would never agree to this. But it is fine. It's fine. This is fine. But we are, you are all, you are all doing the pair ups in rooms, not me. I will not be pairing up with this. That, that's fine. I was going to go on ahead and say the exact same thing. Annie will, will just make sure that you go as far away as possible. I'm happy to take it in on rooming. Currently, I'm the only other female of the party, so it makes sense that I room anyway. I'm happy to do that. I'm comfortable with the undead. I've lived around the undead before. I've slept next to the undead before. It is fine. I can do that. Anakitos is going to shudder, but not his head, and will say, Good, good. Okay. Okay. Fine, i be brave. I will be brave. Do you need to hold someone's hand? <laughs> Paul, ha hold Anakitos' hand. <laughs> um, they're a boy. Yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> Little fledgling, I am doing this for you. You will hold my hand. <laughs> I'm doing this under protest. I'm doing this under protest. Oh, you do not want to kiss me. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's me told. <laughs> that was out of character. <laughs> Fine, yeah, we're going back to like year three in school. <laughs> you gotta hold your partner's hand, all right. Anakitos is gonna very stubbornly hold onto your hand. So, you all walk back to the exit of the cemetery. And you notice that he is not there. Mm -hmm. You exit out of the uh, cemetery and you look around for him. Could everyone make me a perception check, please? I think it was better than last time. Oh, bloody hell, Steve! Jesus, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> hey, twinsies! <laughs> so, 
Charim's more concerned about his his uh, his body healing <laughs> than focusing on his his whereabouts. Paul was awkward by holding hand with Anakitos. <laughs> Rickamar is reading a book while while walking through the graveyard. Um, could Tabitha roll me a perception as well, please? Mm-hmm. Uh, just a sec. Oh my god, why is it not scrolling down? Uh, um, it's probably because you're not connected to um, Beyond 20, which is fine. Um, we can sort that out during the break. Uh, what did you get? Oh, how do I how do I roll it on the other one? Because I've never used it before. On the, what? On the, the Beyond? Yes. Yeah. Uh, if you go to your uh, character sheet. Oh, I think I figured out. Um, 16. Yeah. 16. Okay. So you don't know, Zara, that you're more petting your crow at the moment whilst walking out of the, of the uh, graveyard. But uh, Rue, Anikitos, and so I have to look at my notes now. What um, <laughs> what uh, Jack sent me? Pyrias. Mm-hmm. You, you see, so this this interesting wagon that's driving away from the uh, at the temple and going across. Um, at the bridge on the river. Vu and Nanakios, you've seen this wagon before. You've seen this uh, this traveller's wagon before. And you can see the sun gleaming onto this wagon and it sort of like it sort of glows blue as the individual You kind of have a sense that he's looking at you and winking at you whilst he goes across the bridge and slowly disappears into the background. Okay. Is that fucking Aspran? <laughs> no, he think... was shining gold. Which wagon is this then? Oh, this Above is table. Aspen. Oh, this is Aspen. He can, yeah, he can change his um, his aura. Ah. Oh. Anakitos is going to still, which probably will also still pull, seeing as he's still clutching onto his hand. Yeah, he um, keeps walking until like just stop, stop. Oh, okay. That fucking bitch. <laughs> that bitch knows please. damn well what he has just done to me. You know, he could have gone on ahead and at least told us that Rowan was okay with his dad or, or, or any other information other than here, here's another party member for you. Oh, I am going to kill him when I next see him. <laughs> but hey, at least we now know that the gods are involved and this is something that the gods want. Which probably means that maybe your god's okay with it too? Or mine? Yeah. Oh, sweet thing. <laughs> um, yes, I'm sure. Which one do you support again? Anakitos is going to give you a wry smile and will say, Do you see a holy symbol on me? Um. Well, no. <laughs> Look, I, I barely know any gods. I mean, I, I was thinking of becoming a, a follower of Hoar, but that's about it. It's called my um, connection to the divine um, more innate than your average clerics. 
God, your hand's warm. <laughs> it is, actually. You would have hated my hand before. Okay, yeah, he's looking straight ahead. He looks awkward <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where we're going to take a 10, 15 minute break, everyone. Hooray! So, everyone, yeah! so, <laughs> so we can all cool down, have a drink, and then come back. And I think you're heading back to the Raven, the Running Raven, are you? Yes, but yes. I'll hide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So we'll see you in the next ten to fifteen minutes, everyone.
and we're back. So, the party heads back to the Running Raven, where it is early afternoon now. So, as you enter the tavern, you see it's a lot more busier than earlier. Where well, there's a lot more patrons in there, feasting, drinking, and getting merry. You go up to the tavern keeper, who greets you with a warm smile. Ah, oh, you're back again then. You keep going in and out here like a, well, like a, I don't know what. <laughs> uh, drinks, do you want some drinks, good sirs and madams? I never say uh, no to a drink. Yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a drink. Good. Oh, so he, so he gets a round of um, ales for all you. Just a question, barkeep. Yeah. How long do we have the rooms for? Oh, that's what I need to talk to you about. Do you want to renew your rooms for another night? Just look at everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. There's an extra 12 silver, please, for that. I'll get this, boys and girls. Uh, of course. <laughs> Thank you. I'm skint. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you just want, to, want the rooms for another night or another two nights? Probably best to <laughs> another two nights, right? That'd be 24, we'll just... then. Well, if we pay for just the one night, and then we'll let you know. Fair enough, fair enough. Here's your ales. You can try to find a seat if you can, as he leans over his um, over the bar and just like, if you can find a seat, that'd be that'd be lucky for you. If you want anything to eat, let me know. The kitchen is open all day until 9 p.m. As he scutters off back, um, as he goes at the back of the uh, the tavern, you hear him moving some boxes around. I take it you all try to find um, a table to sit, uh, to sit at? Um, is our table that we were at previously before um, we were... Scur we scurried off to go deal yeah. with an undead? Is that uh, still there? It's still there, yes. And not claimed? No, no, not claimed. Slide straight back into the seat then. Okay then. <laughs> simple. Simple, simple, simple. So you all sit around the table, um, including you, you, your new, your new friend. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing by this point now, um, Anakitos and Paul have let go of each other's hand. Yes, they have. Yes, yes. <laughs> Anakitos that would look at least him to sit down. Yeah, <laughs> that would look a bit odd walking into the tavern like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, you're walking into the tavern like that. But when Paul starts to look uncomfortable, yeah. <laughs> then you'll be released. <laughs> uh, that was about an hour ago, but sure. No, no, there's a there's a threshold for it. You've passed it. Why does everyone want me to be by? <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy the fact that you've held a man's hand for like five minutes and now you're considering being by. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is more about you than Paul. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, me as the player, I am. But the character is straight. <laughs> How long can you hold out in that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. Yeah, but Anakitos will at least release Paul's hand, if only if it's to sit as far away from the new um, companion as possible. You're sitting, like, away from, um, um... I'll yeah, sit from her. I'll sit at the actual table with everyone because I'm not trying to be that antisocial. But yeah. I'll sit as far away as I can yeah, on yeah, the table. Yeah, so, question is: the table circular? <laughs> no, it's, or is it uh, rectangle. It's rectangle. Okay, okay, so it is possible then for Anakitos to sit as far away and then also still not have to stare. 
<laughs> Look us straight in the eye. <laughs> So I was in my head, I was imagining like a circular table and far away would be opposite, which means every time you look up, you're dealing with it anyway. <laughs> He'd cover his eyes, <laughs> head in his hands. <laughs> um. Rue's gonna just be the one that's quite happy to sit next to. The one that's making the, you know she's she's happy with the undead. She this is this is this is almost comforting. She's happy to sit there. <clears throat> well, folks, we need to find out where these dark graves are. Yeah, and uh, I probably should sort out that business upstairs. Rue, would you mind getting the ingredients for us making the brew? Sort up the business upstairs. How long do you expect this business upstairs? She starts doing air quotations and everything to take. I'm just going to ask her to go. All right. Depends on how many knots he's tied by the sound of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, tell her to uh, go. Sure. I, I just want to know how long I should take going on ahead and getting these before knocking on your room and then potentially being mentally scarred by what is ever occurring in your room right now. Don't worry, Mum. She'll be gone. <sighs> okay. I will go get the ingredients. Right. I'll set up the equipment in my room. Yeah, make sure it's a different kind of equipment for what's there now. <laughs> you guys are awful. Yeah, but, you know, that, that's why you're eventually with us. Oh, man. Mm. Amazing. <laughs> so, right. yeah. what is happening then i'm gonna go off and get ingredients does anyone wish to join me i'll take that as a no <laughs> it's going off by itself to go get ingredients i think we also wanted to check the library for where the yeah. dark graves were so yes. i guess the rest of us will go there what in the meantime i will try to encourage um, Aaliyah to come with me it <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have an anxiety attack wait who am I going with? Um, you're going to come with me to get um, potion and poison ingredients okay just <laughs> we're casually <laughs> keeping you away from Anakitos <laughs> before he goes actually insane <laughs> And Paul's going upstairs, yes? To uh, deal with business. <laughs> I've got to kick her out. It's like, c come on, darling. Like the, the usual etiquette is you take your taxi money and you go. <laughs> <laughs> so you go up to your room, Jack, and you see um, she's still in, in bed. Oh. She's awake. She's got mm. the covers over her. And it's like, oh, hello, darling. I didn't expect you to be gone so long. I didn't expect you to still be here. Well, I mean, I didn't promise anything more than one night, now, did I? But I wanted round, what was it, four? <clears throat> uh... <sighs> Look, I've got some jobs to do. So it's I always about don't jobs, jobs, jobs with you lot. And she just uncovers herself and she's walking around bare bone as she puts her clothes back on. Wait, hang on. We didn't actually have any chat between those two. Do I even know her name? No, you don't. Oh my god. <laughs> Not your finest moment. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, he'll say, um, so what was your name, sorry? Emma. 
Emma, right, yeah. Uh, sorry about this, Emma. I, I thought you understood. No, it's fine. No, it's just all you men are the same, aren't you? You take, 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 <laughs> but you never give, do you? It's fine. I might see you around. I might not. And she, she's got most of her clothes on, but she just takes the rest and just walks out by just nudging you out of the way. I am definitely going to catch trouble for that one. Yeah, so the rest of the time <laughs> I'll just be setting up the alchemist equipment mm -hmm. ready for when Rue comes back. Okay. The rest of you see this um, barely dressed half-elf come down the stairs, like storming down the stairs and just basically slams the, the tavern door behind her. Is this the half elf I assume that I saw with? Yes. Um... Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. yes, it is. And Akitos is gonna side eye this. Probably looks over to uh, the others and will say, "Well, he was successful in getting her out. We will probably never see her again. And if we do, he is leaving with red cheek, and not the way he would like to." Okay. Let us go. Uh, let us go now. I don't want to be here for whatever is happening. So I take it okay. the rest of you are going to the library. Yeah, the... that's probably the first time yeah. Rekomar's perked up all day. Yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> there's Pyaris going as well. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you're. Yes, I find this most intriguing. So you're head to the Hall of Tomes. Mm -hmm. We we go do, uh, Vi, and oh, sorry, Tabs. What's what's your name? Character again? Isla. Isla. So we do Isla and uh, Rain. Rue first. Rue, yeah. Rue. Oh, <laughs> me first. Okay. <laughs> Well, no, you're both going to the thing, aren't you? Both going to get potion ingredients. Yes. So, you, so which potion shop are you going to? Um. You have to look on the map. I know I have to look on the map. Mappy, mappy. I know. I, I struggle to read your maps and where they, the numbers. It's not that hard. <laughs> it is for me. So you could go to the Hag's End. I feel like you're trying to push me towards the Hag's End, and I no, feel like I'm, I'm going to hate being at the, ha the Hag's End. No, I'm just saying you could go to the Hag's End. Um, I think there's another one. Uh, there's uh, an alchemist of the, di uh, the Dank Aura. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Dank Aura. Or the Hag's End. Beautiful choices. Beautiful choices. Um... They are right next to each other. Oh, no, they're not right next to each other. They're actually fairly a few streets apart. Of course they are. Um, and we're at eight, mm -hmm. which I can't see on the bloody map. Oh, you're on uh, number 24. No, we're not eight. We're number 24. Yeah. Near, right. Yeah. Near the river. Well, Dankoros is closest, and then if I don't like what I'm hearing there, I'll head over to Hag's End. Just be pure. Okay. Well, she'll go to the nearest one that she sees as she's wandering around trying to find the place. Okay, that's fine. So you head to the Dankora. <clears throat> as you enter it, it's a very somber looking place, and you can hear the sort of like a an alchemist uh, lab noise is happening at the back of the shop. You see a lot of potions on the shelves with a lot of like price tags on them. And you see this very short old man come walking in and like, Ah, customers! Hello there! 
What can I do for you, ladies? I'm looking for ingredients. I don't suppose you just sell ingredients on their own instead of just the finished product? Actually, I do, my darling. Isn't that a coincidence that I do, really? Yes. Anyway, let's cut this story short. What do you want, my darling? Um... God, Rue will start just listing off everything that she can kind of get for, like, poisons. Rain doesn't really know, but Rue does. And to cut it all short, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> well, that's good to know, because I've got most of them here. Yay! Um, let me just go to the back and grab them for you. And he just toddles off at the back and everything. Walsh, you see him walk, walk back. He's, like, wearing a very dirty, like, Almost like a scientist's robe, but it's made yeah. of like cotton, and it's like it's got some wild white hair going as well. God. Insight what? check whilst the, um, he's preoccupied. Right. Insight check. On he just wants to sort of see. He wants. Rue's gonna sort of see. Can is this one trustworthy? Is this one about to kind of? Screw okay. me over. Okay. This one about to up the prices. <laughs> Roll me. What's this one still? <laughs> Roll me insight, please. Twenty-five. Okay, you can tell that this individual is trustworthy. Perfect. A little bit senile, but trustworthy. <laughs> a little bit senile, but okay. <laughs> As he comes back with a crate full of ingredients, it's like here you go. All the ingredients for making poisons that you need. He said anything about making poisons. We would have avoided saying poisons exclusively. Well, I thought you said you wanted to make poisons. M my bad, my bad. It's just like most of these like deadly nightshade, um, witch's fingers, you know, all of them are, can be made into poisons. Well, I'll be sure not to go on ahead and worry about making any poisons. Fair enough then. Anything else you like in this in my shop? Any potions? Scrolls? How much is all of this gonna come to? All of this comes to five gold. Five gold? Pants that over. Okay. Lovely. Nice doing business with you. Uh your associate beside you. Is she not cold just wearing that robe? Um... I feel pretty cold. <laughs> Does she want some... I've got my... I've got some clothes if she wants to borrow them. If I say borrow, I'll give them to you. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, I have to say, it's my dead daughter's clothes. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, that's that's fine. Okay. And you'd like toddles upstairs and everything. At this time, what do you two want to do whilst he's upstairs? I sort of awkwardly look at the nearest potion and like look at its label, look at its price tag and just go... Maybe not. <laughs> so... Nothing is coming up of your memory, I'm guessing. No, not yet. Um, this group doesn't seem to like me very much. It's... No, it's not that you're not liked. Look. I suppose I'm quite different in the fact that I've grown up with the undead. Around me, it was necessary for my people. Some people are taking a little bit of time to know the undead. It can be quite unnerving for some people. I'm sure of what you remember of your post memories that undead tend to be pretty disconcerting for most people. I don't think I've ever run it. Well, I don't think this tiefling's ever run, run into anyone, any undead. So, 
I don't have an opinion on it. For most, it is. It's probably best if we try to avoid bringing up the fact that you're not technically alive as much as possible. Um, just for that sake. Just mm -hmm. give it time. Um, allow them to get to know you. When I first joined, um, didn't exactly give the best impression either. And you've seen how things are now. Okay. Um, why, why would we need poisons? Well, Paul and I tend to be very good at creating a whole host of Well, poisons, potions, you name it, we, we between us we've got quite a fair bit of knowledge. Um, and we're about to go into a fight to try and potentially save some friends that are being held captive by some very dangerous people that have done a lot of harm. People that I suspect are very similar to... Um, or are potentially involved in the harm that was caused of the body you now inhibit. Oh, okay. Um, well, I guess it only seems right that I help you with this fight, then. If that is how you feel. Um, we don't know what we're going into. We don't know if our friends are going to be alive, if our friends are going to be dead. And... We have just lost someone to these people. Can't you just, and like, bring, bring them back? They were killed with a blade that made it impossible. This is how dangerous these people are. Right. And... I mean, they've already... From what I can understand, I was shorted from most of it because everyone seemed to me for a very long time to be the most sensitive of everyone to harm, which is, I guess, true. I, I, I try to avoid the whole idea of harming another person, um, but from what I can understand, the friends that we are going to rescue are not fully intact they've got we've been given a box with a delivery of their some of their pieces uh is is it possible to use magic to attach them back necromancy maybe i don't know this is, is... i might be able to help with that although i'm not very good as you can see by my crow Oh. <laughs> That's that was my life. Yeah, that was my first attempt. So, still practicing. You know. Um. So that's that's why we're making sure we're going into that this fight, which is most likely going to be a trap. They want us to go there with as much of an advantage as possible. We don't want to lose anyone else. No. I can't guarantee your safety going in on this. I can't guarantee anyone's safety. Well... You haven't tried to kill me so far, so... You're a nice person, I'll help you. Like I said, I'm very used to the undead. You, you don't scare me. You're definitely different to a lot of the undead that I faced. Normally, the end that I've lived around tend to not talk back other than grr, ah. And you're not growing or ahing. You, you, you're talking. Yeah. Um. I'm as confused as you are. And I think that's what's got everyone else so confused, and confusion leads to fear, 
fear leads to shut up disembodied voice <laughs> the voice just gets so loud <laughs> Um, you know, fear often leads people to maybe not acting quite in their right minds. Mm -hmm. Give it time, you'll be fine. How long does it take to find some dead girl's clothes? Yeah, I was thinking the exact same thing! <laughs> Very sorry, it took me a long time. I had to go through the old wardrobe. She's got some trousers, some boots. There's a nice purple dress here, if you like it. Yes? Purple dress? No? Okay. Uh, there's a... Well, there's some um, interesting features here. And she and he just hands over um, very skimpy lingerie. And then he hands over some other dresses and this very plain white tunic. I was just turning into the most sexually charged D and D section <laughs> so far. <laughs> <laughs> They're all free, by the way, because obviously she doesn't need them anymore. Where she is, I still chuck him a gold for his trouble. <laughs> I much appreciate it. If you ever want anything from uh, the Dank or. Uh, Come by. I'm always welcome to see you. Spoiler alert! Now, any any time we come back, he seems to think that we're his dead granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you two doing now? Then, I take it you're gathering heading up. back. Okay. Heading back. Yeah. Okay. So we could go to the Hall of Tomes now. As you, is it three of you, isn't it? Where's Rancor, by the way? Is Rancor dying or...? Uh, no, because it, it, he's in the other campaign. I meant Shadow Rim. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Shadow Rim. I, w I went with... I went with. Okay, so you four enter the uh, the Hall of Tomes, where you're meted by, or greeted by, the same uh, keepers as um, Anikitos and... Mm -hmm. Um, Rachma saw a couple of days ago. Hi, can I help you? Um, yes. We are looking for uh, information, knowledge. Okay. okay. What would you like to know about? Um, uh, Rachma turns to Ray. It was the, the graves, wasn't it? It to me? Um, yes, we are we are looking for uh, information on the dark graves. Dark graves, ah, yes. Well, I can tell you where they are. They were only about a couple of miles east, of, uh, east west of um, of the city. Oh yes, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Um. If you just, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll tell you the directions. If you head south a couple of miles down the road, and then there's a small dirt road that leads into some little um, farmsteads, it will take you sh directly to the dark, um, uh, the dark graves. Hmm. Thank you. Anything else I can help we, you with? Um, do you have any books here on knowledge about the dark Ah, uh, Yes, it's um, it, at the back. It's um, uh, the history of a phosphor. It will tell you everything about uh, the kingdom and the city and what happened there. Hmm. At the back, are you saying? Yes, at the back. Thank you very much for your help. No, no, no. Thank you for being interested in history. I tell you, are you all yes. hitting at the back, or just Anikitos and and Rekamar? No, we'll go. Okay. 
So you all head at the back. <coughs> Could you all make me an investigation check, please? <laughs> oh my goodness, is that two dirty 20s? <laughs> <laughs> I am rolling rubbish tonight. You are, mate. Sorry. So, Vekwa <laughs> and Anikitos, you both see the same book as you both put your hands on the book at the same time. As you try mm. to pull out and everything, you basically to have a little friendly tug of war of like who's going to read it first. Okay. You have. Um, this one, I I read the one on me very begrudgingly. Let's go of the book. Okay. Oh, you know me. I am fast reader. The second time done is all yours. So, as you open mm. up the book and read through it, <clears throat> it's basically the history of uh, of the city, uh, Frostfall, and the kingdom of Stockhold. Uh, as they, it tells you about the um, the struggles of trying to break the shackles of the Tamarian um, domain um, at the end of the first era, and the forming of the kingdom. It also says right at the beginning the it's basically the history of the area as this was the last. Um, sort of clan to go go against um, King Hakon who later became the, the sole king of uh, Norvania and there was a big battle where the dark graves are and from the dead who were buried at the um, at the graves so it's, so it's a bit like like a battle memorial rather than a an ordinary grave site. Right, yeah. Anakitos, once he finds the right page, is going to turn to the whole little cluster he has mm. with him and will hold the book out on the right page and will say, I'd read quickly if I were you. The second I give this to Rekama, you are not going to see it again. No, that is not true. Um, I tease, friend. I, <laughs> I, tease. I, I I let you read the book on rips. Yes, the book that you got because I needed it. I am pulling your leg, friend. Do not worry. Ah, ah, I, I see, I see. Apologies. There is no need to apologize, I take no offense. Um, yes, if anyone else would like to read, I am unhappy to wait, but we'll wait. And Ketos will shoot him a fond look. <laughs> Rekomar probably wouldn't notice, he's just <laughs> eager to read. <laughs> So you're reading the book. Are you buying the book, or are you going to put the book back? Uh, uh, Rekomar would inquire to how much the book would cost. So you so you head to the front desk of the of the, um, the Hall of Tomes. The keeper says it's um, twelve gold. Hmm. I bought one yesterday. Make it ten. Eight, and, and we'll call it a deal. Eight. The haggling force. And Rickamar will hand over the eight gold pieces. Okay. Only and, his second. And you have now got a book called uh, 
the history of Phosphor and Skull's God. Skull. Sorry. Skull Cold. And Akitos will hand the book over to Rekamar with a dramatic little bow. As you, mm. as you all head back to Thank the... Um, actually, does anyone else want any books from this place? Or are you okay? I don't know. I probably want a lot, but... <laughs> um, no, I can't think of any. No? Reason why I'd need a book. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. You don't like books, do you? <laughs> I don't like them. I just don't think I need any. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about, uh, Iris. Iris, yes. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I will, get, um, I will get your name by next that's week. That's all right. Um, I don't think there's anything I need at the moment. I mean, obviously, you know, I like knowledge and I like, um, mm. stories, but, um, no, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm good currently. Okay, cool. So you'll head back to the tavern. Uh, you don't see, um, as you head back to the tavern, you don't see Paul anywhere, and you, as you're looking around, you see, um, uh, Rain, and, uh, I'm gonna kill myself. Isla. <laughs> Isla, thank you. Isla, walk in. Oh. As you see Isla carrying sort of like a like a bag full of like a new clothes. <laughs> we have made good time. Be what they know. I'm about to go on ahead and get all of this stuff up to Paul's room and really hope I don't end up mentally scarred. Does anyone want to come with me and risk being mentally scarred or are we all good? Oh, I would not fret. I saw um, a very angry half-elf leave not long after you did. Okay. Let's hope his room's all in order from whatever hell he was into last night. Do you want me to come up with you and check before you go in? You are so kind. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll go with Rue. Okay. So you go upstairs and Rue knocks on the door. Enter! <laughs> okay, I'll open the door and just 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 check that it's not going to be yeah, so not offensive to Rue, but you, yeah. To, pe to be fair, she is also carrying a crate. I don't know if she can actually open a door. Yeah, okay, well, I'll, I'll just check it before you go in just to make sure he hasn't set something weird up for you. <laughs> set up the alchemical supplies, like <clears throat> what he needs to brew stuff. The bed's unmade, and mm -hmm. that's the worst thing about it. Okay. I'll step aside and let her in. And then I'll leave him to Thank it. you! <laughs> go ahead back downstairs. Okay. So we go. We go focus on uh, Paul and Rain. Paul and Rue, Sorry. Yeah. So, what did you pick up? Uh, everything that I could name off the top of my head that we could utilize. Let's see what we can create together. Excellent. I do have um, a question. Mm. Well, just while we're waiting for things to brew. What? What do you consider cheating? <laughs> what do you mean cheating? Well, I mean... Me and that lady aren't seeing each other anymore, but it was kind of understood that I may mess things up. I mean, you're not technically together. Right, brilliant. So I, I shouldn't feel bad for it. 
I mean, if you feel bad about it, it just means that you still potentially have feelings for her. Yeah, she... She had to go home and look after her family, but... And we kind of put it on hold, so, I mean... We were on a break. It seems to me like you're feeling the need to justify it to yourself. Which suggests that you feel like it was a wrong thing to do. No, I, I mean... It's, 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 there's nothing wrong with it. We're both free agents. I don't, there's no reason to feel bad. Right? Only you can answer that one. At the end of the day, it's your relationship, and I've not really had a relationship before, so this is not really my area of expertise. Okay. Well, we'll speak no more of it. I will say, you know, I still see that you feel a connection to her, even though you're not technically together or anything else like that. One could argue that last night was simply you just trying to get over her. Because who's to say you're ever going to see her again? Oh, thank you. I wasn't depressed, but now I am. Let's get these cracked out. Yeah, let's get these cracked out. Right, um, are we using an ability score for um, brewing these poisons? Yeah, you are. Um, I will say nature. I think yours is going to be better than mine there, Rain. Four? Yes, definitely. So I will give the help action to Rain and let her run the show. That's fine, yep, that's fine. Uh, could you roll me a nature then, please, Rain? Is that with advantage? With advantage, yeah. I don't think I'm going to get much better than a dirty 20. No, I'm not. It's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Roll title credit. Yeah, roll, roll credits. So you manage, in, a, in, in less than a few minutes, you manage to brew up, I would say, three poisons? Three vials of poisons? Mm-hmm. Basic poisons? Yeah, basic poisons. Mm. Is that a 1d4 poison damage, or 2d4, or what we talk? Uh, 2d4. 2d4. Two, 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 two. Okay. While you're finishing up upstairs, I'm going to focus my attention on the other players who are in the... who are on the table, waiting for you, for you guys to finish. What are you guys doing whilst uh, Rain and uh, Rue and Paul are uh, brewing? I might turn to uh, Piraeus, who's come down mm -hmm. after um, checking the coast is clear, so to speak. Okay. <laughs> and we'll say, oh. Pyreus, you say, yes? Uh-huh. Tell me, what are you doing in city? You live here, you're visiting. Um, kind of passing through, just trying to survive at the moment. Um, I used to perform elsewhere, but um, had a little um, run-in, shall we say, and was forced to leave the city rather quickly. Oh. And, uh, and um, yeah, kind of find myself here at the moment. Um, no, no one else really best to go. So I was just performing at some of the guilds to try and pay my way, really, and survive. So you are a travelling bard. Um, yeah, performer, entertainer. Yes. Yeah. Well, I hope you uh, do not mind being dragged along on uh, whatever escapades we are being dragged into. We um, did not really check that through with you. 
No, well, no, but I didn't think it was particularly um, wise to stay in the in the um, fighters guild after after what happened. Um, they can be an un, um, unpredictable bunch um, fighters when when they're annoyed and frustrated. Yes, yeah, certainly. Did not seem like the kindest of environments. No, very demanding. And, um, yeah. That would kind of bullies on the whole, but, um, yes, I'm pleased to be out of that environment. Well, I cannot say that uh, we are much safer in terms of the uh, amount of fights you will get into, but I can at least promise you you can stand well in the back. That is, if you want to keep coming along with us. We are quite um, open to it. Okay, yes, that's, um, well, hopefully it won't come to that, but, um, I, um, I can provide support. Sorry? You can? Between you and my friend, it would definitely come to a fight. <laughs> um, okay. This is well, pre-warning. I'm happy to stand at the back and provide whatever support I can. So long as I'm um, somewhere at the back, absolutely. Please feel free, there is usually me, there is uh, a very reliable shuttle in, who are um, quite happy to be stood behind, I think. Kind of looks to shadow him there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. That was him in a fight without any support. He is absolutely amazing when he is able to use all of his talents. And yes, no magic, indeed. And if we can buff him a little bit. And you? I do not say no to it. Oh, well, I should be able to do something. I appreciate all the help I can get, friend. I am uncoordinated, I fear, these days. Ah. Cool. Yes, well, yes. I've not been tested in battle yet, but... Um... Well, consider tomorrow your lucky day. <laughs> Thank you, I think. Do not worry. Uh, there are plenty of healers in this group. Should you need anything in battle, you just yell and one of us will pay attention, at least. I okay. am sure half of the party can get someone up. Ah, uh, good. Yes. Okay, that's good to know. In fact, uh, I cannot really name anyone who cannot, maybe... Uh, Paul might struggle with it, but he is still able to use a potion and... Uh, Nice. Yeah. He's I can. I, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, I can probably offer a lift bit myself as well. So. Well, there you have it. We all offer each other a hand and we'll be fine. Okay. Thank you. Whilst you. Yes. Sorry, get out. No, go ahead. Uh, no, sir. <laughs> whilst you two are. Um, chatting with each other, you all notice um, Paul and Rai coming down the stairs and <laughs> heading towards the table. I hope they've washed their hands. Between you both? <laughs> Three poisons. I'm not really the best one to go on ahead and coat a weapon in poison. I'm much better at just casting a spell that can hit you with it directly. I've got two left from the last batch. So we've got five. So I've got four on hand. You're taking one, obviously. That's the smartest decision. You're probably one of the best ones for it. Obviously I've got no moral obligation not to. Shadowrim, you won't. You said no, as much. I... I'll pass on the poison. Anyone else? I can be persuaded. How many you want? Oh, I don't know. 
How many do you need to cold weapon like this? You are expert. Just one. Yeah, then one is fine. I will come through should I need more. Okay. You have one basic potion basic poison. I love a basic poison. Uh, nothing for me. Thank you. I only have a dagger, and that's more for eating. Well, Piraeus, I notice you use the same type of weapon that I do. How about I give you two? Um, I, I'm not planning to get into melee, but um, I mean, if it can be applied to arrows, then yes, possibly. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Can I, so, could, could I rely on you to apply it for me? I don't want to accidentally poison myself. Um, just stick the arrow into the little bottle, and it'll do the work. Okay. I'll give it a go. And that leaves one spare if you want another one on a keto. Oh, go on then. You spoiled me. Well, you know, I've not Is held it? a man's hand for that long. What, are you falling in love with me already? Just call me Rue, matchmaker. <laughs> um, uh, 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 um, He's not denying he it, just, he just, Yeah, it just ends there. <laughs> Really Anakin just looks very amused and will fan his face <laughs> like he's swooning. Oh, what are you doing to me? <laughs> okay, you two get two vials of basic poison. I'm going to keep one for myself. Poison time. Sweet. Ah, three pieces of ammunition. Okay, I was just checking. What is the rest of you doing while this is happening? Apparently nothing. Other than reading. I'll probably read reading. Okay, so uh, as a recommend, you're reading. Uh, Chavin? Drowning your sorrows. Drowning drown your sorrows. Um, uh, I've got... Alia? Is that how you spell, pronounce it? Uh, Ayla. Ayla. Yeah, Ayla. What um, is Ayla doing? Um... Well, she has no weapons, I don't think. No, she has no weapons. So I'm gonna need weapons if I'm not gonna die, so... Mm -hmm. What do you use? I'm a, uh, a cleric, I think. Here you are. Was that simple weapons? I think so, yeah. Not that I really feel like it's a wise idea, but I do. Well, technically, Anakitos is currently ca um, carrying Soul Harvester. Mm hmm. Because you haven't, you haven't destroyed it yet, have you? I haven't. No, I was meant to ask people, and then I kept forgetting because we <laughs> kept doing more important things. <laughs> Technically, so hard is still in the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, 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 all I've got spare is a, a martial weapon. So you can... I mean, I've got yeah, I've got I've got a dagger. I've got a quarter staff <laughs> that I can't really use. I have seven daggers. Oh god! <laughs> dagger, 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 dagger. <laughs> I do have a rapier spare, but that's a martial weapon. Yeah, I only have martial weapons too. Was up to you, Tabs. Um. What does your what you uh? It depends on what you can use, really. I don't think she'd go for something called a soul harvester. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a scythe and it's a pretty, it, it, um, a nasty weapon. It's extremely cursed, and Anakitos only has it with the explicit intent to destroy it. Uh, yeah, I think I'm taking the daggers. The yeah. daggers. <laughs> hey, uh, Timothy, your character sheet says you, you, you're proficient with martial weapons. Martial? What is a martial weapon? It's like, um... Like a rapier, sword as oh. well. Yeah. Long swords and what martial. Wait, Pretty does much someone have one of them that. spare? Yeah, you yeah. can have my yeah. spare rapier. Yeah. 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 We've got a warhammer as well if you need if you ever need that. You've got a long sword if you want it. <laughs> you have a choice. Uh what what what's better the uh for my character, a rapier or a long sword? What are your strength and dex stats? Um, it's plus one to strength. So, yeah. Dex is zero. So you could have any of them, really. Okay. Um, hmm. I'll take the sword. Long sword? Mm -hmm. Okay, Anakitos is going to take a deep breath, be very brave, and will um, shuffle around in his belongings and slide a sword over the table to you. <laughs> um, thanks. You are welcome. Character growth, right there. This is, this is the bravest he's ever been in his life. <laughs> You're doing a very good job, Anakitos. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Try try to see it as try not it's... to think of, 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 of the condition that she's in and try to see the personality and I promise you it will get easier. I am seeing the person and I am seeing the trust you are putting in the person and that is the only reason I am arming the person. You are a brave man. Thank you. Listen, I am not frightened. I am not... Uh, it is nothing... Uh, it is just not my cup of tea, okay? Get it. Good, okay. I do not make fuss about it. I will try to be... I will try to be okay. Just, just only one, though. Please. I, I, I promise you. Okay, only one. Okay, I can do that. That is okay. And the only reason we're making the exception is because, again, she is not going gr ah, and is actually talking. Well, I mean, a lot of undead have personality. They are people, of course. They are just. They are just not where they should be and should be escorted elsewhere. At the soonest convenience. <laughs> For their soul's health as well as everyone else's. Well, she was. And then she was put back. And so... whoever did should... I... No, I am <laughs> understanding it is not her fault. I'll tell you what, Anakitos, we ever go on ahead and get to personally talk with the gods? Y you can take first blow on whichever one you want that you feel caused it. Gladly. Gladly. With no hesitation. They put your people through too much. Lila's kind of just awkwardly sitting there while everyone's yeah. like <laughs> talking about how to, she's an abomination. Like she's not there. That was the rudest part for me. You can call the fucker out. I take no offence. Only he will. <laughs> Look, I got, I got to say something, guys. Like, Isla's right here. Can you not... Talk about her like she's not. Hmm. 
I didn't say anything. <laughs> no, I know you didn't. Doing that thing where they're slowly trying to make themselves like invisible. Like if I don't move, they aren't gonna see me. <laughs> oh, for goodness! Okay, I am sorry. I am sorry. I lo- I am. <sighs> My apologies for being rude. That's all right. Um, I don't think my condition is very normal. It is very interesting, however. Uh, how about this? We don't talk about the condition that Isla's found herself in. I don't think that's fair to keep bringing it up and making a situation awkward. Isla is Isla. Doesn't really matter anything else. Yes, and considering that you all put up with me being a compulsive liar, although being a compulsive liar, I probably have lied about that fact as well. One of these it just days, smirks at people. One of these days, I will slap you. Does the biggest, most innocent grin. Just a bit of humour to ease the tension. I mean... You all put up with the fact that... It's normal for my people to... Resurrect the dead to... Utilize in wartime. And my people have been fighting for a very long time. Anakitos is going to slow turn towards Wu. What? Told you I was comfortable with the undead, that's why. When you say raised, you mean. Zombies, yeah. Animates, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. I think I am going to be ill. I am going to retire for today, I think. If they're dead, why not use them? They're just gonna rot anyway. Oh no, 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 I am going to bed. Goodbye. You know, it's lovely (laughs) to meet you, Isla. Uh, yes. Yes. It has been absolutely delightful. In... It's like late afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> it is. No, Anakitos is just getting up. <laughs> it's like, right, no. No, 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 no. Anakitos, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, he's not your fault. This is a victim look. of circumstance, and I understand that I am just. I haven't raised any in my defense. <laughs> I... That bar is so low, but good, good job. You know what? We keep like that, okay? We keep like that. That is, that is good plan. Yes. Oh no, I am, I am going to lay down. This day has been long. You will call me if you need anything, but I am. You know, anything happened, just let me know. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> and Akitos is just going up to his room. Okay. Well, now's the time to go comfort the man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Rue, don't even suggest it. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'll stop, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been shipped so hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's it's just you seem to have a lot of an easier time getting on his good side than any of the rest of us do. Well, yeah, okay. It's just I it, do it, see it's it from. Just, it, it's easier for sometimes for you to kind of. Make sure that he's okay. 
this has been a difficult day for him, and you're probably the closest thing he has to a friend. Okay, well, I don't think it's going to help. All I can do is listen. I, I can't really do any more talking to him, you know? I know that. And I'm not forcing you to go up there. I'm just saying. <sighs> okay, I guess my work's done for today. I can do... Sure. Again, I'm not forcing you. Don't be hard done by. You can say no. You can sit here, you can get drunk, you can go on ahead and find yourself another maiden. Actually, no, I don't think you can. I think you are having to share your room with one of these lovely gentlemen tonight, and I'm pretty sure they would not like to be kept up all night. <sighs> all right. Look. Yeah, if I'm going I to get their it. room. No, I get it. I get it. All right, I'll check that they're okay. I'll go on ahead and get you a drink for when you come back down. Let's not get too drunk, everybody. Tomorrow we move out. Great. Okay. Very well. Cool. How drunk is Shadowrun right now? Because you said that he was drowning in sorrow. <laughs> Roll me a constitution saving throw, please. Uh oh, what have I done? Uh, uh, you've got your aura. I have, but with me aura, it was a six. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I you, rolled a nice big two. <laughs> you are very drunk at the moment. Oh no! <laughs> Regret. Yeah. Regret, yes. You are very drunk yeah. at, the, at this moment. <clears throat> Charim. That's, very, that's fair enough. I figured it probably would be after his uh, defeat. Yes, he would, yes. Draining his sorrows. Yep. What is everyone else doing? Are you all drinking as well, or are you all, or are you doing other things on the table? Am I even able to drink? I would say yes. You are. You can. Okay. Because this body is quite fresh from what happened to it, but it's it's kind of like healed itself after after you after your spirit has gone into it, so it can be so you can eat and drink. Mm -hmm. Without like the liquid just pouring out a hole somewhere. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can eat, drink, and get drunk. Is is I is Isla just in lingerie right now? Was was she? She's just <laughs> she's just wearing that cloak that um that Paul gave her. Mm -hmm. Go and put your clothes on. <laughs> the D session so far. Amazing. <laughs> so Isla goes at the back where it's more secluded and she gets changed. What you want to get in changed into you're just going in those brown trousers and the and the cream tunic or Breath. This is your chance to go for whatever. Yeah. Zombie, zombie lingerie. Yes. Zombie, zombie lingerie. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you come back out, and all you're wearing is zombie lingerie. Brew pretty much immediately spits out the the drink of water that she was having, and it's just like. Oh. Oh no. Uh, what's wrong? I'm just wearing the the clothes the guy, the dead the dead girl. Um. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I 
She's going to look over to the guys and just be like, um... <laughs> Nothing. They haven't said anything. <laughs> She's, uh... That's not really considered clothes. Well, it's more... covering partially. <laughs> uh, uh, let's go go on ahead and get you dressed properly before you, someone goes on ahead and thinks that you go on ahead and do certain things for money that maybe you shouldn't be doing. I don't have any money. Is that a way to get money? <laughs> <laughs> no. Not with you, it's not. Not with you. No. No. <laughs> She sort of almost <laughs> grabs her by the shoulders and starts steering her back to the room. <laughs> so you, you two go back to um, Rue's room and get changed properly. As you come down the stairs, um, what other um, do you want? To, what other? Uh, clothes you want to be in. Don't know, but those were really soft, so I refuse to take them off and I'm wearing them underneath. Fair enough. <laughs> yes. Fair enough. So you're just wearing this quite um, nice but basic um, cream dress. <coughs> As you come down the stairs with Rue, the others see you and they're happy that you've got yourself changed. If we're going into this situation tomorrow, yeah. Um, does the obviously I've only I mean I'm I'm new here as well, and I, I'm I not going to say that you three have to fight at all. Do we? That wasn't that wasn't what I was going to ask. I was just going to say that if um, Isla. Because I'm, I'm happy to, but if Isla is coming with us, would it be worth trying to get her some, maybe some armor or something, just to help protect her? Oh, I'm 100% I mean, in agreement with that one. I don't have any, well, I've got about f four gold pieces, that's all the cash I've got, which I'm happy oh. to donate. Oh, but that's no, not going to be much. We're, we're fine. You're... Did, uh, Normally, normally Paul does this better. You're fine. We're, we're, we are the happy few. Sometimes people stay forever, a really long time. Feels like I'm turning into one of those people. Sometimes people only stay for a little while, but whilst you're with us, we'll make sure you're sorted. And it's not the exact cool. way that Paul goes about it. Paul is a lot more charismatic than I am, but I'm not, you know, and I'm not him. And <laughs> mm -hmm. cool. I'm sure Paul will give you a much better lowdown and description and fill you with so much joy of wanting to be in this group, yada yada yada. <laughs> I, I, I'm not the one for that. This is so ironic given his depressing backstory. <laughs> Given how much the norm room is normally sunshines and rainbows, this is hilarious. <laughs> it's the and normally I'm not quite this miserable, but it's been a difficult day or two. It's been a month, year. It's been a difficult time for a little while, and I'm. Agitated. Yeah. But we'll um, make sure everyone's cleared. Who was Rue talking to? I, I was reading chat. <laughs> All of us. Okay. Entire conversation here. We'll make sure. Apart from Paul and Anakitos, they're off somewhere else. <laughs> And we're going to get to that now, before we end tonight's session. So, Paul, you knock on Anikito's door. Oh, 
<laughs> With Billy! <laughs> Anakitos will meander over to the door and open it up. Hi. It, hello. Something gone wrong already? No, nothing's wrong. Just Rue was concerned. Mm -hmm. And she, <laughs> I guess she sees me as somewhat of like a morale officer, just sent me to check on you. Oh. That is nice of her. I, I am well as I can be, I suppose. You want to come in or stand in the doorway? Yeah, you can come in, that's fine. And Akitos will step back from the door, open it up for Paul. Yeah, he goes in. If there's a spare chair, he'll take it. What it is. I don't know how much these rooms got there. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Uh, look, I know this is challenging for you. But I'm really glad that you... I see you're making an effort. Uh, thank you. I... Listen, I'm sorry that uh, I acted up like that. I do not mean to cause you trouble or embarrassment. Isla's... Uh, next to stranger to me doesn't really cause me offence I mean look I'm, I still feel that investment in you when I saved your life on that table I want to make sure that you're okay in every sense of the word hey. I will be honest with you, friend. I am uh, struggling to get to grasp for things here, but uh, no, I am. I am grateful for you. You have been uh, stabilizing for me. I have uh, appreciated the time you've put into me. Anakitos will go and sit on the edge of the bed because I don't know how many chairs there are here, but so. <laughs> And, do you know, you've been a credit to this party, you really have. You think so? Yes. Why shouldn't I? I've seen people come and go. Some were absolutely laughable, to be honest. And you have been solid ever since you joined. Uh, well, I must say, I am on it. I uh, have been flitting between little groups of people for a while now, and uh, I am not good at making fast friends here, it seems. I do have to warn you, I've got a checkered past. Before you start trusting me absolutely, you must know that I... I was involved in some shady things. Does not surprise me. When we first met, you cut off somebody's fingers. I am not blind. Listen. You are transparent with me, and so... I trust you. It's okay. I trust you have my back. Even if you are sometimes going behind it a little bit. You are no traitor to me. Yeah, I know. I, I took that note from you. I should tell you everything I find out. 
Not just you, but everybody. Mm. And I mean, as you say, I am the one walking around with a mask, so I cannot... I cannot fault you. I understand. It's, it's hard to get out of some habits. Just out of pure curiosity, hmm? can I see beneath that mask? Of course you can, as I have said. I do not mind privately. Um... <laughs> This is insane with the chat, I'm so sorry. I know, the, you guys are terrible. <laughs> Giggling and twirling my hair right now, oh my god. Um, but no. Anakitos is going to hook his fingers under the beak of the mask and he's gonna just put it up and off his head. Um, he doesn't really have that much going on beneath it, but the most prominent feature is from like, his beak bones kind of above his mouth all the way back and to his hairline he has um feathers growing out of his face huh. i actually have a picture of it just in case you need a, a visual that i even want it i came prepared i've already sent the dm this so i'm just going to slam it in your dms Sure. <laughs> Sly in his DMs, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm really, really getting in character here. I said I had the pitch on go, and then I like proceeded to not find it immediately. Where the fuck is this? Okay, well, I'll just keep it going. Keep going. <laughs> well, you know that trick I can do? And Paul transforms into the vision of Anakitos. And then back to Paul. Oh no, that is cool. That is how my face is looking these days. Not bad. <laughs> what do you prefer, your own face? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, no. Yours is much prettier. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I don't, I've never really got into that sort of thing. I, it's, it's, it's always been women with me. Really? Oh, I, my apologies. I hope I am not frightening you off then. No, no, no. It's, it's, that's absolutely fine. But. I, <laughs> Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. It's okay, it's okay. Goodness, I should be flattered. You see my face five minutes and already you are thinking of such things. Um, I never said that. Of course. My lips are sealed. Yeah, <sighs> uh, um... Well, I, I'm glad you're okay. Um, I, I think I ought to go. Yes, feel free. I will be here for the rest of the day if you want to come talk to me again. I always enjoy your company. Yep, yeah, glad to hear it. Thank you. Door still in the just, same place. Don't get lost. He just looks embarrassed and flustered. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. Uh, yeah, um... Sure, I, I'm sure you'll be okay, but um, yeah, you know which room I'm in. Um, if you need anything, uh, uh, you will be the first to hear about it. Don't worry. Okay, <laughs> have a nice day, Paul. I'll give him a gay little finger wave. Uh, <laughs> good night, Anakitos. <laughs> See you later. Good afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be one of the moments where you go out the door, close it, and then lean back against it like, oh, <laughs> what the hell was that? And that is where we're in tonight's session. <laughs> oh my god. You guys push for this so hard. 
<laughs> this, I did nothing. <laughs> this ship is on its maiden voyage. Yes. <laughs> it's hope it doesn't sink like the Titanic. Oh, too soon. I was just it's too soon. It's been over a hundred years. What anyway. you mean when it goes like absolutely erect in the water and then sinks <laughs> down into the depths? <laughs> <laughs> On that note, thank you very much for everyone for watching tonight's session. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's still 79% of you that are not subscribed and still watching this. What are you doing? If you like this content... Come on, guys, get it down to 69. <laughs> <laughs> if you like what you, what you hear and see, click the, su the subscribe um, button. And also, click the bell icon so you never miss an episode and we'll see you next time bye bye, bye. i'm not gay <laughs> <laughs>